everyone? My name is Sydney Crenshaw and today I'm going to be making a Halloween costume. This costume is inspired by the Netflix series Julie and the Phantoms. This is actually the outfit that Julie wore in episode 7 as she performs Edge of Great. I think that this costume is super cute and I'm so excited to show you guys how you can make this at home. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I just moved over to my desk and I'm going to show you the materials that you are going to need to create this look also. To create this costume, you're going to need some scissors. The only difference between these two is that these are fabric scissors and these are regular but whichever ones you have and cut the best then just use those a black permanent marker a long sleeve white v-neck t-shirt or if you just have a crew neck then that's okay that still works two white shower caps some butterfly hair clips white duct tape some butterfly pins fabric glue and if you do not have fabric glue then you can just use like a hot glue gun or regular glue whichever one sticks the best some colorful felt preferably pink purple or blue because those are the colors of Julie's shirt butterflies and then lastly you're going to need some black jogging pants the very first thing that I'm going to be working on is her shirt. As you can tell with Julie's shirt, she does have a bit of like a slash kind of thing going on with her left arm. We're going to do it our own way and put our own spin on it. I'm going to start right here where the seam is and I'm only going to cut a half circle on the sleeve where I want my shoulder to stop. What you don't want to do is cut all the way across because then you will not have a sleeve and you want to make sure you still have something connected. Boom! Okay, now that we have just finished cutting off her exposed shoulder area, it's time to move on to the sleeves. One thing that I notice about Julie's sleeves is that not only are they nice and puffy, but they're also rather short. They stop around her elbow length. The length on my current shirt is a bit too long, so I'm gonna try to cut it down to about right here is where I wanna cut, not too far below the cut shoulder part. And then repeat the process on your other sleeve. As you notice with Julie's top, her arm part is like really puffy and this is where the white shower caps are gonna come in. So you're gonna wanna grab one of your shower caps and cut a hole about the size or width of your arm so that that way it gives you a slot to slide your arm right into and then create that puffy look that Julie has. And then after creating that slot at the very top of your shower cap, you're gonna wanna slide your current sleeve right into that opening and then just pull it through, through the bottom and then that gives you her puffy sleeve look. You don't really need to attach it with any safety pins or glue or anything because it should already fit around your arm very well. After doing this arm, you're gonna wanna repeat the same process on the other arm. Pull it through and then boom! Now you have the puffy arm look and we're literally so, so close to being done. The only step left is to add the butterflies. This is where your pin-on butterflies are going to come in. If you do not have any pin-on butterflies accessible at the moment, then you can make your own. This is my butterfly that I made out of the colored felt and I'm going to show you guys how to make one yourself right now. Grab a piece of your colored felt, fold it into a bit of a hot dog type of fold. <laughs> Try to make sure that the edges align perfectly or as close as possible. Flatten it out a little bit, lay it down, and then grab your permanent marker. Now right here is where you're going to create your stencil for your butterfly shape. Make sure you draw your shape as close to the folded part as possible because that's where you're gonna cut so that both of your sides can look exactly the same. Now that you have your butterfly shape, just grab your scissors and start to cut your butterfly shape. Now open it up and you have something similar to a butterfly. Now start to draw in the butterfly details so that it looks as close to a butterfly as possible, like with the line down the middle. And then I'm just gonna draw some little dots all around it. Just kind of get creative. And then boom, now I have my butterfly. She's very cute, guys. I noticed that Julie has her butterflies on the collar and shoulder area of the left side of her shirt. So that's where I'm gonna place them. Grab your felt butterfly and then grab some fabric glue or any glue that is strong enough. Go ahead and just apply some right down the middle. And then I'm gonna put mine right here on the shoulder part. Press it down and then that is your first butterfly. And then I think I'm gonna place this one along the collar area as well. And then if you did have the pin on butterflies, of course all you would have to do is just pin them right on. But this was just for the people that do not have those at home because I'm pretty sure those are not a very easy thing to just find around your house. All right, everyone, so we have just completed the top and it's time to move on to her pants. The cool thing about making this part of the costume is that it literally only requires two things, which are some black jogging pants and some duct tape. One thing that I noticed about Julie's pants is that she has a bit of a square shape going on with the white pattern on her pants. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your right leg pant and then kind of figure out where you wanna place your duct tape so that you can get the right pattern going on. It's plain from the waistline to about the crotch area and then everything from here down starts to turn a little bit white. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your duct tape, 
the white starts right below the crotch area so I'm gonna put this piece of duct tape right here and then kind of ah, make sure you have lots of muscles for this and then grab some scissors and cut off the remainder what you're gonna wanna do is repeat this process on the sides and the bottom right here, but do not continue that process all the way to the bottom of the pant, just to about the knee or a little bit below the knee. So once again, grab your duct tape, connect this first piece to the last white piece right here, and then maybe end about right there. Pat down, grab your scissors, and then cut off the remainder of the tape. Now just repeat this on the other side. Now you should have something that looks a bit similar to this. She does have a lot of rectangular type of patterns going on with the white. And what I really like about creating the pants part of the costume is that you can really freehand it, make lots of patterns, and try to resemble her pants as best as possible, but I'm also just gonna have some fun with it. There is a bit of a diagonal pattern going on with her white, and I'm gonna try to do that. So I'm gonna start at the waistline, the left waistline, and then kind of bring it down to meet her crotch area. And then I think I'm gonna repeat that step just one more time so that I can make that section a bit fuller. And then after that, I'm just gonna play with the rest of the pant and then we'll be done. Okay guys, so that took a lot of patience, but I finally finished the pants and I'm actually really happy with how they came out. I have a little bit of detailing around the ankle and then I have some on the waist coming inward. And then over here, I kind of have the full leg with this rectangular kind of pattern. I tried to resemble her pants look as much as possible, but then I also kind of, you know, had some fun with it. Wanted to be a little bit creative, okay? Before I show you guys this completely finished look, I do still have to add the butterfly hair clips because I feel like that would just completely bring the whole outfit together. So I have this blue one right here. I'm just gonna clip it right into my ponytail. These are so cute. Just kind of put them anywhere, everywhere. <laughs> right here. And now everyone, I present to you the Julie and the Phantoms Halloween costume. Guys, I had so much fun recreating this costume and I really hope that you guys have just as much fun making it as I did. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys like this costume inspired by Julie and the Phantoms on Netflix and happy Halloween. Bye guys.